In June, I had my final exam on, uh, in the 12th grade. I had my first NK month. Now I'm working with dental clinics from Switzerland, from France, and from Germany. This month, I think we will reach 230K. Salute and welcome to the Romaniac Show. Today we have a very special guest. We have Rares Gaitan, who started off his social media marketing agency at a very, very young age, and now at the age of 20, has two businesses making over seven figures. My, you, you said my name better than a lot of Romanians. Really? Okay. No that's way. Good. So that's it was good. right. Yeah. I, I, I'm really, I'm really <laughs> surprised. So yeah, it's, it's all good. Guys, yeah. it's, it, I'm really grateful to be here, first of all. It's actually my first p first podcast in in English, so ah, yeah, it's awesome. ah, okay. yeah, okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, there are not there are not many podcasts. I guess we are maybe like that's what we try to be the biggest podcast in Romania in English. That yeah. is uh, our goal, and it's we are so happy that you came around. It was honestly from the beginning like perfect conversation. You were down to do it, and uh, yeah, we are glad. Actually, I told you already. Some of our viewers recommended it, and um, yeah, so we are. Happy to have you and guys don't forget to give this video a like as well. Um yeah, and subscribe to not miss out on further episodes. Yeah, it's 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 great. Like I uh, like I told you it's it's also I I'm really happy for you guys that you're you're doing this for Romania. Like Ted Tate had a big big impact. I, I saw mm, you guys yeah. doing the, the Tate yes. videos and they were pretty well. So you're going in the right direction. Like Romania needs to to have like a perspective on what other foreigners know to think about the, the country, especially mm. the the young ones, and uh, you're doing really good. And uh, like I told you, it's 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 a pleasure to be. Yeah, thank here. you so much. Thank you. It's not it's not just us though that are doing a good job. You're being a fantastic representation mm. of yeah. how youngsters can actually start making money themselves, being self sufficient at a very young age. The things I'm I'm doing right now sh are not that relatable to to kids my age or, or teenagers my age yeah because i uh, i always tell them like expand your 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 time frames because what you see at me it's like result of more than five years of work that's the thing yeah. people see people see you at a young age and i think maybe you just started like yesterday yeah yeah and they quickly want to jump into but anyway how, how did you start everything off like what age were you so uh, I would business business wise I started at 16 but it's really important to say that I have two years before that I trained my discipline like I've been I've been living like a monk since 14 so monk mode yeah, yeah. So, so, something like a uh, monk mode but I didn't know about it because at at 14 I was like on the verge of dying I no uh, I was uh, I was uh, I I had anorexia so you know, yeah. anorexia. It's like I was fat as as a kid. Like most mm. of my life, I was a fat kid, but not not because I was not active. Like I was eating a lot of junk and playing a lot of CS:GO and stuff like mm -hmm. video games. Mm -hmm. So at some point, uh, I have a bigger brother. I told you, oh, mm -hmm. older brother, yeah. and and he he is, and and he was my role model, and he left when I was thirteen to to study, and I was like. Man, I lost my my best friend. I lost mm. my like my mentor, and I, mm -hmm. I I know it sounds like really mature for that age, but that's what I I felt like. I felt like I was abandoned, and I need to get stronger. Mm. So, from a fat kid that was playing uh, video games all day, I I started training. I I, mm -hmm. I was like, I should focus on on a thing, and I I chose to 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 go to the gym. Yeah, and. The the process started really really healthy. Like I I I was starting to to lose weight to to eat more healthy, so it's been all good like for the five six months. But after that, everything went downhill because I started looking for information online about how to lose weight weight, weight faster. Fast, what was yeah. the 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 best diet out there? And uh, I started believing all, all all types of information that wasn't mm -hmm. really good for me, especially for my age. Because when you're young, you wanna I have the right nutrition and training because you're growing and yeah. you, you, your body needs like the, the the right food. But I wasn't listening to to the right advice. And uh, like what is it? You wanted a, a way to get it quickly, like to just 
So, all the fun. so at some point you get like obsessed. Like it, it, it gives it gives you dopamine when you see the 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 scale yeah. going down. So I kind of got obsessed at some point. Like with being skinny, I never saw myself like skinny, so I never stopped. And uh, like ten months in the process, I was seventy two kilos at thirteen, and mm -hmm. ten months later I was thirty seven kilos. Wow. God. So I I dropped like half of my weight. Um, the, in I, ten I, months. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll always say this. It, it's it's painful. It's scary. But I I didn't realize it then. Yeah. But I went to my my um, my grand grandfather uh, then, and uh, he didn't uh, recognize me. And I was oh, like, wow. "Fucking hell, that's that's bad." And yeah. uh, especially the the bad part about that it's it's all the side effects. It's like. I felt horrible most of the days. Mm -hmm. I barely can could move my my arms and mm -hmm. my legs because mm -hmm. my muscles were like really really stiff. They were yeah. numb all the time. So my my family uh, was really scared of my situation. Like I was really mm -hmm. like doctors were scared of me when when they they saw me. And at some point I was so hurt and I uh, everyone around me like my mother my father would cry because they would see me and. They they couldn't do nothing. Yeah, like they some, can't. Some 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 people here, like Romanian parents, say, "Yeah, you you didn't get beaten at <laughs> the right point." The right yeah. point so, in your yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, no. No, my my parents were actually really really tough on me, especially my mother. They mm -hmm. because my 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 bro was the model, like straight A's, yeah. uh, the the best kid in town. Like he was really really good, good on a good behavior all the time. He, he mm -hmm. never swear. He he always had like. He was the perfect kid for for, yeah. but he was the perfect kid because my parents had always big expectations on him. Yeah, but I was the the, the exact opposite, so yeah. to say. Yeah, and uh, when I started to like this hurt so much, I I said to myself, man, I need to do something. Like I need to recover. So I said my recovery at at f uh, it was actually my birthday on my close to my birthday, my 14th birthday. Doctors told me if I'm not going to change something, I'm probably gonna die like mm -hmm. i had some uh some thyroid problems and also blood problems because mm -hmm. of everything and it was it got pretty bad and i got scared i got scared as well and mm -hmm. i said yeah maybe i need to do something else and at that period i was finishing school teachers thought i was a freak and or i had cancer or something my friends thought i was uh, i was a freak because in seventh grade i was going with like chicken and uh egg whites at school yeah. or something wow. and while, while while every kid was with like sugar and stuff like yeah. 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 sandwiches and yeah. everything and they thought i was a freak they thought i was i completely lost my mind and somehow i i managed to 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 finish school really good like with good grades and i got in like the first class in uh, i'm from a small small town in in the moldova part so Bacau. Small town is it yeah, yeah, Bacau, yeah, okay. Bacau, Bacau. So I'm, yeah. I'm a, from from Komanish, a really small town, like yeah, yeah. less than twenty thousand people. Wow, yeah, it's tiny. So it was only like two or three schools and yeah. one high school. So it was okay. only one 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 high school. I got in the the first class uh, studying mathematics, and uh, the next two years I started my recovery from anorexia. It's like that's when I build a foundation because after that I I I was starting to eat like six times per day and, and train like two or three times per day. Wow. Like I did that for two years. Like mm -hmm. everything I did was study about health, mm -hmm. train and eat. Like that yeah. was even in the summer, like every, I had, so because it was a small town, everyone know, knows each other yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, p people were scared about my, my transformation because I was skeleton and I started bulking. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, put on some muscle and then at that period because I was so focused on this self-improving part like not dying and mm -hmm. I I started hearing about uh, hearing about like entrepreneurship and stuff yeah yeah and uh, the first like the first guy I saw on YouTube was Gary V man I was Gary watching v, okay. I was watching Gary V like day and I like yeah binge watching Gary V entrepreneurship is the shit and Gary was 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 like Talking about the fact that school and high yeah. school and university, they're the system, all, yeah, they're all shared the system, and yeah. I I started to think, yeah, man, I I I started to wake up because 
my my parents always told me to study really good everyone around yeah. because in a small town everyone tells you that it's there's no yeah. other option that getting good grades being good at school uh, getting in a good high school getting in a good university and stuff so it's all about that and uh, around in the second year of high school i started getting those 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 thoughts like and it, this is going nowhere like mm. i had my brother who was who got straight A's and really good grades and got in a good university and he wasn't doing really good and uh I know maybe, maybe I'm too too too, <laughs> too transparent with this but I, I saw in like my family my family never had like so much money but we're okay like normal mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. my my father is a fire was a firefighter firefighter and my mom was a accountant yeah. and still yeah. is it's my <laughs> she is my accountant she's now. your accountant yeah, now. yeah that's, wow, that's nice it's, that, Great. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's really nice like, yeah so you have someone to trust that's really the best always it's the best thing yeah yeah and uh that's when i started like my uh revolution in 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 that seat i was like fuck this man yeah uh, that's great I, man high school is useless nothing they teach me it's actually useful yeah school was useful because yeah i learned how to write and mm -hmm. talk that's correctly. good yeah but after that but, really and 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 i started talking with with my friends around mm. like about this yo i saw those type of videos online and yeah about entrepreneurship about having a business an online business and mm. they're all like you talk shit man mm -hmm. just don't try to be different because just stick to the system yeah yeah just be a sheep because we don't give a fuck about what you're talking we we know this is the right way yeah. because everybody told us it's the mm. right way you should do the same because if you do some something else you you'll fail you'll yeah. fail you lose money it doesn't but, work but in the Romania. problem is that those i mean we also kind of had the same experiences we never had been the perfect students you know yeah. um we follow more what we think is right and uh we don't let people push us into the system and especially the funny thing is that the people who always tell you off are the ones who themselves also are not in the position they want to be in life i, I wasn't a bad student yeah. I, I I was getting good grades because if I wasn't getting good grades, I would get my ass whipped. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want to be when you, like at that age, what, yeah. did you know what you wanted to do in the future? Well, I really loved nutrition. I really love everything about health. When I was little, I really loved animals. I still mm -hmm. love animals. So I was, uh, I would, I saw on like on Discovery Channel or Animal Planet, like those, those cops that uh, defend the uh, animals, you know? What? Yeah. Cops yeah. defending animals? Yeah. yeah. So, so like, it's like animal police, you know? Like no they, way. From yeah. other animals or from... No, 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 from... Uh, I'm like, just looking, I'm <laughs> imagining like a zebra, like a cop coming no, up no, to no, a zebra. Like, you're talking about uh, Zomania. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, like a bed owner that it's not taking care yeah, of. Yeah, and they, 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 yeah, they go, that. they take them, yeah. And yeah. Uh, they, yeah, I was... First of all, that like that was my dream, like taking care of animals and stuff. But like growing up, uh, you you get really confused because nobody tells you what's the right path mm -hmm. yeah and uh as a teenager like in 15 18 uh, that that high school part nobody tells you to think long term no. yeah. or to do something else or to do what you like or to to think of something else rather than the tra traditional jobs they nobody like they they give you the, the same same advice and the same info as everybody and they expect you to do like the best thing yeah, yeah. so um at 16 i after all my like i got brainwashed into entrepreneurship and all mm -hmm. the, the business yeah. of all the motivation stuff i said man i i need to do something i need to because my my parents like they were okay but they were not doing really great uh and I really wanted to do to start something of of mine because everybody around me thought I was a weird. But in the period of two years of recovery from uh, uh, anorexia, I was mm -hmm. I started to really like cooking. I was mm -hmm. I was cooking a lot for myself and uh, for my parents and for everybody actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started getting good at it. I mean, if you do something for two years like course, really yeah. cons uh, consistent, you you get good at it. And I I, I liked it. And uh, I said, man, I I should maybe I should share my recipes of oatmeal so mm -hmm. oatmeal was my like my favorite shit like mm -hmm. favorite food i was eating oatmeal like two or three times per day i yeah. was really eating oatmeal every day and i was like uh, let me share s this stuff with some of my colleagues because i i i take the the food at school so they they know already that what i'm eating and i wanted to 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 get to know what what they think about mm -hmm. my my mm -hmm. recipes 
So that's when I heard that what I'm doing is really good. And I, in my head, was like, yeah, maybe I should sell those because in a small town, they they don't eat good food. They eat like really cheap burgers or yeah, yeah. like fried chicken or not not good food or chocolate in yeah. the morning. And their breakfast is really really off because you don't have options in yeah. in a small town. They, you yeah. have the 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 small shop food shops. You they sell like. Two euros uh, sandwich, yeah. and it's yeah. it's really processed and pre- really bre- uh, really bad. And I thought, yeah, I should make a healthy breakfast for 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 people in my high school, and it should be really affordable, so they they could eat a good breakfast, especially for the ones who are going to gym. Mm. They'll get a good breakfast. Like I, I would have like an offer because I knew the calories and stuff, and I would yeah. go. So you were given the, the macros as well. Yeah, I mean. yeah, I was given the <laughs> macros, nice. and uh, that's that's how I started my first first business. I I borrowed around uh, seventy euros from from my my parents. Mm-hmm. I went to the the supermarket to to buy the ingredients. And I started making the res- recipes, like the best recipes that could have also Nutella in them, but also still be healthy. Mm, so yeah. I, I wasn't go- going to like too healthy, but I was trying to make them like really good. And uh, I had this idea, like I thought I, I never went to Starbucks until like 16, 17. Mm-hmm. But I, I had this idea to write the, the, the names of some some friends of mine. And to go to school and give them the samples, like samples with okay. their name mm-hmm. and stuff. And all I ask them to do if, is, if you like them, just share it on, on your Instagram. Instagram back in, I don't know, t- 2017, 2018, yeah. it yeah. was booming, especially yeah. in yeah. Romania. And uh, next next day after I did that, uh, I I, w- I woke up with like 30, 40 messages. That the whole of Bacar was like, I want to cook. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Yeah, that's. I I knew nothing about business. I knew yeah. nothing about. But anything. that was the first initial thing because I think that has to happen to everyone, especially the people when you wake up, you you, you realize like, look, there's uh, so much, so many things are out there that you can make money with, and there has to be the first thing in your life where you realize, look, it's so easy. You just find a product. Some you need to sell something. You need to find something that people actually need or makes their life easier. And then you just need to to package it well. That's that's basically the the basics. The I mean, fact is, I think a lot of teenagers or a lot of beginner beginners in this in this space, they don't start because they overthink too much. And I used to do that too. Yes. Mm-hmm. But doing the the oatmeal business taught me that all I need to do is act. Yeah, start. So uh, all I need to do is just start. I knew nothing. I knew nothing about economics. I knew nothing about how should I price my my mm-hmm. my oatmeal. I knew nothing. I just, I just know I wanted to to share the recipes with other people and give them a, a healthy breakfast, and it was a passion for me for sure. It 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 switched when it started making money. How did that feel? That first injection yeah. of money after doing something like that. I, it, like I, I didn't feel the difference. I wasn't really focused on money to be honest. Mm-hmm. I mean. I know I wa- I want to I I knew I want to make a lot of money, but it wasn't my focus actually. I, I mean, first off, my only focus was to give my parents uh, my uh, the money back to my parents. First mm-hmm. of all, yeah, yeah, but but they they said no, 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 it's yours. You work mm. for it. So I I I really was lucky because my parents at that point when when after I was ill and stuff, they started to to document more and learn more about how they should behave with their child yeah mm-hmm. and uh when i started this switch like not giving uh, a shit about grades and stuff and, mm-hmm. and school they was okay with it mm-hmm. they there was like yo you you went to all this stuff you you showed us that you you you, you showed us a proof that you are responsible mm-hmm. that you're not li- like other kids that you go to party and drink all this stuff i i yeah. i barely drink drank a, 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 an ounce of al- alcohol in five years like yeah nothing yeah yeah and uh so they they had a trust in me and uh yeah it kind of boom it, it, the the business boomed in in back on and the the more i i i got more su- successful in in the little business the the more like my, my friends were hating me like they really yeah, yeah 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 they're like they started to envy me because i was 
I was kind of not that, not like getting famous, but I was going to. Yeah, of course, you have something going suddenly. You are yeah. like people would talk sometimes here and there. People would tag you. Um, you get some attention that they, especially in that young age as a man, you don't get. Mm -hmm. Like we, no one gets it. And uh, yeah, of course, it, that would it come. At, at, at that point, I didn't realize, but now growing up, I knew it hurt me because yeah. all I wanted to do is like to to spread some positivity and like share them ideas. I I was. Cook, I was cooking them ideas all my recovery, like mm. everything about fitness, everything about nutrition. I kept it for myself, and once I had the the courage to the to to share it to to my friends and stuff or my colleagues, they rejected it. They 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 didn't like it. Uh, not all of them, but some of them, especially. It was surprising that more the 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 most close the closest persons were mm -hmm. were, were were starting to envy me. So. I kind of got over that, and uh, I sh the, the big change in my life was when I left uh, my parents' home at at sixteen. So everything well wow. with the uh, going go went well with the business, and mm -hmm. I told my my mom, uh, "This is not the place for me to grow because everyone around me like seems to hate me because I'm doing this stuff, and I don't feel I don't feel good in the, in this little town, and I want to leave." And uh, I I I hustled really hard to to make like some money to to survive in in Bucharest so I moved in Bucharest at 16 mm -hmm. I I studied harder to to get in a good high school here yeah. because if I if I got to good high school I would get like some uh, some place to stay and stuff yeah. mm -hmm. so at 16 I moved to, at 17 around 17 I moved to Bucharest in a new high school I I knew no one expect my brother, mm -hmm. but my brother, me and my brother at that time, we weren't that close to be honest. How how much older is your brother than? Sounds you a lot to? older. Uh, it's like so. His birthday actually was like three four days ago, so he's twenty seven. Um, okay, I'm yeah. twenty, so it's like yeah, six, seven. almost seven years. Oh, okay, mm. so it's it is a uh, difference, but we weren't that close at mm -hmm. at that point. And uh, I moved here alone, and I started doing the the same stuff I I knew back in the old town. I started sharing samples in a new high school. They mm -hmm. nobody knew me. I I was giving them like old meal, and I was living in the rooftop of the high school. So at the rooftop oh, of the wow. high school, so it was like a boarding school. Yeah, yeah you can call it like that. But it, I I was like in uh, dorm rooms. So okay. okay, they had the dorm rooms like. They had three rooms uh, uh, of like only boys. Yeah. And uh, it was like uh, last floor of the, the high school. So I was making them in my little perfect room. environment for yeah. Them. But yeah, I was. I, I always told the people around me moving really early and also putting myself in these situations like really taught ta taught me to be responsible mm. yes. and to take accountability on on what Your I'm actions, doing. Yeah. So the next two years of high school were like went really really fast but it also was the hardest part of my life mm -hmm. because i started the the oatmeal thing again and i started making money i was delivering uh, delivering oatmeal on my longboard so i had the longboard no and i was yeah i have <laughs> i have crazy. i have uh, the the videos i was taking yeah. them but i was exciting because i still remember it's it's it, it's really in my mind i was delivering food for some girls in like a high school i knew that that high school they are rich kids Okay. And uh, the girls ordering from me, they were giving like me big tips, like really big tips. Mm. And I was really surprised they give me big tips. And at uh, some day, one of the girls uh, ordered some uh, some oatmeal at her house, but she wasn't there. Her mom was there, and she was living like in this residential place. Yeah. yeah. And it was my first time seeing like a uh, a uh, 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 body uh, a girl, bodyguard. Yeah, yeah. A bodyguard at the entrance and stuff. And I was like, wow. The, those people are rich. Everyone yeah. here is rich. I was living in a dorm room, so it's, it's all I knew. You came with a longboard. And yeah, yeah, I was, I was like, <laughs> oh. How much? Yeah. Tell us tell us numbers. I actually want to know. How yeah. much were you charging for these oatmeal? So in, back in when I was living in an old, uh, in old town, I was like three, four euros. Mm -hmm. When I moved to Bucharest, it was... They were I, I I really upped my 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 business with bigger offers okay. and I was like doing really customable okay. uh, recipes and they 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 vary between five and ten euros so that was the, the and price. how would how would the people order like was it like so, so I have a, I had an Instagram I had a page oh, and specifically okay. for the oatmeal yeah yeah wow. 
Okay, so I, I still I still is have it still out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, it's yeah. still dead. Oh, that's banging! I want to see. <laughs> oh, oh, I want to see how you packaged it as well, like the pictures that you're posting on it. Oh, I'll, I'll show you. This is no way, man. <laughs> so this is where I was I was living in a dorm. Yeah. So this is the the window okay. of the dorm room I was living yeah, yeah, in. Yeah. I was doing this stuff. So this is how they looked. Wow. Yeah, that yeah, looks you amazing. Packaged them nicely. And, uh. Besides the 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 oatmeal, I was doing like infographics, like okay. posts, yeah, for people to like learn about how uh, yeah. how to build muscle and stuff. And uh, I'll show you my my clients in a little bit. So this is like all the the, okay, the yeah, feedbacks yeah. I would I would get. Yeah, I'll post them, and uh, this is like my clients, like how they nice, look. no way. And so you are saying yeah. like one box for like five to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I, I, it was a really profitable business Sounds. because for like a, a box of five euros, my, 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 my cost would be like one euro. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was a really good business. Uh, it, it was good. But at some point, so after the, the residential, uh, reden residential part and stuff, mm -hmm. I really got tired because I, I know why I got tired because I, I tried to, I was caught up in the, um, like uh, global warming stuff. I was, what? I was, I was, I was starting to get brainwashed by global warming, and I, I tried to make my business ec more ecological. And I tried. <laughs> For who? <laughs> uh, it, it, it was a long time. It's, it's now a, now he's a, with a Bentley. It's, a, it, now it's, it's a stupid. It was stupid. But but it, I was trying to be a good person. Man, but it's stupid. So I switched from like plastics box to like. Ecological. Yeah, the, the, oh, this the, paper uh, cardboard. The, the, the yeah. So I had a, a big order and I used them and the order like the oatmeal was hot, and I I, oh. I put them in 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 like in a in a box and I was really happy. I was with my longboard and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know what happened inside and <laughs> like a hundred meters uh, from my client, I looked in in the box and I saw every order like it was destroyed. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And I felt so so fucking bad. I felt I disappointed that person, mm. and I I quickly messaged. I I I told her, I'm really sorry. Uh, your order can can't arrive, but I'll give you a free one. Uh, how many you want? Uh, the next day, and uh, after that, I I stopped. I stopped doing fully. That. Yeah, fully, fully. Yeah. I stopped. It wasn't that I gave up, but I I. I that that made me realize, man. I, I I I think I need to do something else. Yeah. So so was it the point that you? It was the combination of seeing those people firstly, like living in those places, yeah, and yeah. on top, you were on this track where you tried too much because I think it's always good to have a middle. So we should always try to go and earn good money, but still, if you can help people and do something, it that is fulfilling. But if you only like on the side trying to do good stuff for other people there comes a point where you're like look like i also have to look after myself and i can imagine that that was the point where you said i need to be more efficient yeah it was like uh i was really sweating every day because with the long board i was taking the bus everyone because uh, i was really delivering everywhere in bucharest like i mm. if like i was in this point and the client was there I'll, I'll tell him yes I, i'm gonna come and some some sometimes i would just run from high school straight to to, to dorms make make a, a a really quick like order and then go an hour uh to to deliver it on on oh board and at some point it be, it became like really yeah tiring. It is tiring. it's long uh and i had those like three or four orders per day which took me like three or four hours mm -hmm. or only like the the the, the delivering part yeah. And it, it got tiring, like, it's tiring. It's, it's tiring, yeah. especially when you do it on, on foot and on longboard. So I stopped and, and I had a, lap, a laptop. I, I, I uh, had the, the money. I, I, I saved some money to buy a laptop. I, uh, I bought a laptop and uh, I started searching ways to make money. And it happened just like it happened when I, when I started to drop weight, like, without uh, a really a compass uh i started listening to every advice mm -hmm. every advice about how to make money online and i started every method of of making money like drop shipping, drop shipping affiliate marketing mm. i i was still brainwashed with the global warming shit how were you planning on making money with the global warming <laughs> Uh, I was doing ecological t-shirts, so like I was trying to make a strip. 
yeah that sounds yeah. cool though but i didn't yeah. no i didn't have money it, it cost me like 30 or 40 euros to make a to t-shirt make, oh. and, yeah and i had i had to live on 200 300 euros yeah. max on, yeah this on fashion s- it does you know it's, it's i it's, I, a, it's I, a lot of work a lot of risk and in the end you don't get money and low margin uh, yeah. yeah. profit so um it was really hard for me like the one year i really just struggled to learn a lot of skills it wasn't bad so it, it was still the period i was laying my foundation so mm-hmm. between 17 and 18 uh, after i gave up on the old mill stuff i started like gaining skills so uh, I, uh, because of the 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 old mill i started learning social media marketing how to yeah. grow pages i started actually my entrepreneurship page when i w- I, w- I would post like codes and stuff so I grew that and I was like making some money on uh, shout outs. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I was trying to, on the shout outs, I was like telling people I know how to do logos and stuff. And mm. my first client actually paid me like $7 for mm-hmm. a logo. That nice. was my first like online money. I was really, really proud of me. Mm. And I started learning like different skills, trying those different uh, mm-hmm. type uh, types of business models. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, at some point, my 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 personal brand took off. I started like I was the the first like youngster in Romania talking about this stuff. It mm-hmm. was nobody, nobody in Romania was talking like yeah. about a, a kid building a business. It was absurd. It, it mm. I, no, it is still I guess because yeah. because Romania also for us coming from Germany, for us are from the UK. One thing we realize here is that Romania, due to communism, they were they are just behind. That's what we have to face. And there are th- so many things that in other countries are just normal. Mm. While here, um, yeah, even for us, you know, there are so many businesses that are not here yet. You can just and copy you're them. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And, and it would w- the same it will work like yeah. Really and good. the same with people like you. Of course, it's it's something. Or look, we are the first like. We are one thing until now. We haven't found someone else. We are the biggest English speaking in Romania living YouTubers, like which is wild. Yeah, with not even twenty k subs. That is an <laughs> insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a good lesson there. Yeah, uh, finding blue blue ocean niches and markets. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 and attacking them. But yeah, it's it's been like for me the 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 real stuff, the real business stuff started. Uh, in uh, in the pandemic, so in the in, okay. in this camp that, is, that is so recent. That is man. recent. That so is basically, so w- recent. when when you did the longboard stuff, which year was that exactly? Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. That's yeah. it, when we came goodness. to study here. That is when yeah. we, 18, when we, we came in eighteen. We came in eighteen. So we yeah. were one year studying when you were. Maybe we saw you like with your longboard who, who driving knows, around. Yeah. Well, probably I was <laughs> I was in the popular places, and yeah, uh, yeah in twenty twenty after the the whole shit came up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I was forced. I was like uh, my high school closed its doors, so I was forced to go back to my parents. Okay, so oh, okay. for living, uh, yeah, or? and that was a big hit for me. Yeah, I, I hate. I, I I don't don't hate it now. Like I tried to actually to 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 spread like like I was doing back uh, back in the beginning, spread positivity. But I was hating back then the, my city and stuff mm. and everyone. Yeah, there, and I was you hating to go them. Back in there, yeah. And I had to go back, and people like in Romania. When when you like uh, move to a bigger city and you come to the smaller city, they say you are spoiled now, or you yeah, you're you think differently. You, you yeah. think you're somebody better. You think you're someone yeah, better. Yeah, and uh, it was like I was back then in I I got into a relationship as well, and it was a little uh, a little toxic, a little more toxic. And mm-hmm. all respect to to that girl. That mm-hmm. girl like. Uh, taught me so much about how to be a man, how not to be a man, mm-hmm. and uh, I really learned from that. So I was in a toxic relationship. The the whole I was I had to go back to my parents. I w- I was really depressed at that point. I was I was barely working. I I had money saved from everything I did online, and all I did was just like I know I I had a period I was crying like every day because mm-hmm. I I hate I hated being there. I, I, my relationship wasn't really good with that girl, with my parents, everything. And, uh, yeah, nothing really happened the, the, the first five, six months of that year. I was mm-hmm. really trying to find myself, which was really good. So I'm not telling this to, 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 uh, for, for the ones watching like, oh, so sad. No, it was really good for me. There have I, to be periods like that, you know, where you have to grow and change and. No, I, I, I think the pain of that period really really taught me emotional intelligence so mm. i really got more and more self aware with uh, my my emotions and uh, in that year so in 2020 
uh, it was my last last year of high school. Yeah, I saved some money to to move in a really small studio in here in 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 Bucharest. It's it's not from far from here, mm. and I I just had like a, a really small like. This was my my whole room. So Everything, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Maybe a little smaller, like yeah, classical, like a studio my first for a student. Yeah. My first apartment here was exactly the same. Yeah, a bit smaller than this. Yeah, yeah. Everything inside. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, but I was happy. I was happy. I was mm -hmm. back uh, back again in in Bucharest. But I was desperate because I had the money to pay the rent only two months, and <laughs> I I didn't have no no income back yeah. then. I I was just freelancing but like jumping around from business to business so i i wasn't making like not not much more like mm -hmm. maybe 300 dollars per, per per month mm. and um that was a painful a painful part as well because i had to step on my ego and i told myself I, i'm never gonna get a job i'm never gonna work yeah. but i got in a situation i had to to work so i was really desperate i made like a, a, a cv and uh and I I applied to like 300 jobs in like two days, mm -hmm. and uh, in in the last year of high school I, w I had three part time jobs. I was working at uh, as a graphic designer for for a company that was doing like apparel for the trappers in Romania okay. and stuff, mm -hmm. which was good. I I I liked it, but it was really strict and. That mm. was, it put a stop on my creativity. I tried to be a marketer at an agency. I tried to be a copywriter. I, I was doing everything, mm. and uh, I was like, I was an employee for two months, and so for two months, I I saved enough money to to pay my rent for like three or four months because my rent was really 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 yeah. cheap, and also I was living like with a hundred two hundred uh, euros per month, like okay. maximum. I was trying to stretch everything. So I only had money for little bit food mm -hmm. and the uh, gym and the the rent, and that's when I like that part. The, the that part I I documented, so it's still online. I can mm. show you the guys. I, I can show you guys all the the videos I used mm -hmm. to take, like when I was uh, an employee. I was uh, thinking about starting a business, but I'm still in this, and it's my mm. final year. Everyone has the expectations for me to to study and only focus on that. But I was I was fed up with the jobs. I I I, uh, I leave uh, I leave the jobs after two months. I said fuck it. I, um, <laughs> I'm not I'm I'm not coming back. Yeah. And I saved enough money just to live by another three or four months. And in in November 2020, I officially started my my agency. 2020. So, yeah, in 2020. There's basically yeah one one year before 2020. That was wait. November twenty twenty was just now, isn't it? No, no we just had twenty twenty two just now. November twenty. Ah, uh, twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So I was. I was. Kind of three years. Three years mm -hmm. ago, some, 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 something yeah. like that. So in November, November twenty twenty, I started my agency with the help of my personal brand that was known then as. So my name was in in English entrepreneur that draw. So that was okay. my name, mm -hmm. and I was doing a lot of content of the stuff I I used to learn. So I, I used to read a lot. Mm -hmm. at the beginning and i used to to every day like i would listen to podcasts and everything i, I was consuming, get all the information yeah i was consuming get, yeah. like three or four hours of content per day of uh, the entrepreneurship stuff and online business and i was sharing them like free mm -hmm. with yeah. people that would that used to 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 follow me and follow me and um i i i pretty quickly i found two clients so i got like i started a like the stuff you do do here, I was I, I was new with something. In 2020, nobody was doing like podcast with entrepreneurs. Okay, yeah. and because I I didn't have money for f microphones or cameras yeah. and stuff, I just thought, hey, let's I I want to film live, so live videos mm -hmm. with entrepreneurs on on Instagram. Yeah. So I was going okay. live with them. They are still up. They are still on my my mm -hmm. on my page. And I, this is how I started to to get to know other entrepreneurs online. So mm -hmm. I started with small ones and then uh, moved to bigger ones. And um, at some point, one of the, the entrepreneur uh, I interviewed uh, wanted some some help with me on social mm -hmm. media. And I got a call one day and he said, Hey, Rarish, I'm going to pay you 500 uh, euros to do my, my social media post. And I was like, for real? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And yeah, yeah, just just give me the the, the account. I'll I'll pay you now. Yeah. And I was like, wow! In like two minutes, I I made more money than working for one straight month in yeah. three jobs. In three jobs, yeah. 
But here's the catch. Ten minutes later, he calls me again. Hey Rarish, I I gave you uh, I give the your phone to to one of my entrepreneur friend. He'll call you and he, yeah. he wants your service as well. The guy's calling me. Yeah, I heard uh, Paul. Paul is his name. Paul, it's it's paying you five hundred uh, euros. I'm gonna pay you as well five hundred euros. You're gonna mm -hmm. uh, make me the post on on social media. I was like, yeah, cool, fantastic. <laughs> and my day was like, I was so happy. I made one thousand euros in like ten minutes. Yeah, span of ten minutes. And that's when I I my my perspective changed and I I I started to take things seriously. And the journey building an agency. Like this, this the 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 starting part is really relatable for for everybody because I started getting more clients because I got recommendations. Yeah, I I started outreaching for other businesses, but I was working with Romanian uh, businesses, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't pay me really good. And I was doing all this stuff until at a point again some pain. I had too many clients and I lost oh, one of my clients' money on ads or stuff. Mm. And I said, Yo, I need to change something because. I, I didn't have no contractors or employees. Mm -hmm. I was doing everything for myself. I was I was making like 2,000, 3,000 euros. I was starting bowling, like I was mm -hmm. good, but it wasn't like it was- Stressful and hard. It was yeah. really stressful. You have to do everything yourself. And imagine it's, it was like my last months in the last grade in high school. Mm -hmm. So the pressure from the high school, the, the pressure from the business and I, that's that was the point I I really started to 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 switch everything I know about business and start learning from the guys that were that were one step above ahead me of you. Yeah. and yeah. one step ahead of me and I started like hiring my first contractor I started like switching my 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 services I wasn't doing uh, social media posts I started making ads yeah. only ads and I was working with everybody there are a lot of twitches uh, but. In my final exams in in June, in June I had my final exam on, uh, in the twelfth grade, so final final year of uh, high school. I I made my first ten k from the agency. My f I had my first ten k month, and uh, I told to my mom, "It's nothing. It's there is no diploma that will get give me this money." No. Yeah. And uh, I, at that point, I was a chief marketing officer to a startup. Mm. And uh, I I've made some good money and I left to to Dubai, and that's that was my fi uh, that was the ending of me and the 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 the, the system the, yeah. the educational yeah. system. And uh, from then, what I did it was just focus on business. I was more 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 strong on my personal brand because I started making more money. So I started people like. I, I had more knowledge and I started telling you yeah. like, this is how you need to do it. Of course, you start showing others. And and really what what so this month I think we will reach two hundred and thirty K on with the agency. Mm -hmm. Only with the agency. Only with the agency, yes. Wow. We have we have thirteen uh dental clinics. So we work with dental clinics. It's a fun story. All my life I had really crooked teeth and um, bad, mm -hmm. bad, bad teeth. Mm. Because when I was little, I had like teeth af accident because I was playing in the weird uh, yeah. weird spots and yeah. I, I fell with my teeth. And um, when I was little, I really had a painful experience with doctors, like with the dentists. Mm -hmm. And I was scared of them most of my life. Mm -hmm. But once I started like working with them and stuff, I... Uh, I, I got over the fear and like last year with uh, with the push of my girlfriend I went like first time after a lot of time uh, <laughs> on dentist and my business went really really well after so now I'm working with dental clinics from Switzerland from France and from Germany mm. actually from uh, dental clinics from Johan yeah okay. so that's where I'm from <laughs> also, also. Uh, <laughs> We have a team of 10, 10 really talented people. They're, they're like my second family. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this business, because uh, it, it's, it just opened another opportunities for me, I started like focusing more on the stuff, uh, the, the educational stuff. Mm. So because I, I, I had to build, I, actually I had to build everything in Romania for myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't have people to talk with to or uh, kids my age to talk about my passions. It, there wasn't like some some mentors you could learn from online because it, no. everything it was really new. Yeah. And there wasn't like marketing mentors in Romania and stuff to learn from. Yeah. So I did everything like 
for myself and after that I just shared it to to other people that's what that's how we got we got to know each other because yeah. at some point I just decided to to share everything and like give every, everything because at some point I didn't have them yeah so the agency business opened some other opportunities and that's when like last year in in April I launched zero to agency which is like an incubator for people who want to start an agency yeah and at this moment we have a hundred almost a hundred and uh, a thousand and a hundred uh, people wow. so more than a, a thousand people uh, that are growing That's their amazing. agencies they are starting their agencies and we have like more than a hundred agencies that are worth five figures like they do five figures every yeah month. so thank you plus per month yeah mm. we have a, a a 16 now 16 year old 16 year old kid who work with coca-cola Lego, i saw like i saw you a video where you had him on yeah yeah That's we we, we do the interviews with them because we want people in Re romania think this is all a scam, scam. yeah scam. And we want to be as transparent as yeah, possible. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the best but you can do. But we, we, we have some, some bright kids over there, some bright yeah. people. And it was a really great choice. It, it, for sure, it made me a lot of money, but also it was a really great impact to, to, to everything I did. So to be honest, last year was, was my, my overnight success year, so, yeah. so mm. to say. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, because you, you asked me at first how, wh why it is like I'm so young. It, mm -hmm. I did some, some stuff. It, it started a while ago and mm. uh, I had to put four years of, I, I, sometimes I can't talk, like I can't express the, the, the struggle it, it mm -hmm. went in there. But I just took it with like a pinch of salt and a pinch of sugar and I mm. just like, it's my life, so I need to yeah. go, I need to go through it. And uh, yeah, every, everything I did just put me in the place I'm I'm here. Like doing this podcast with you, being grateful of of a life, I can do whatever I I want to do, but mostly I choose to work because I really like to work. Yeah. Uh, maybe you see on on social media, and a lot of people judge me of the social media, but you guys, you you probably know it's just you have to be in some way. So yeah. you have to also yeah. show, especially if I mean you said to yourself you make money off of actually teaching people mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. how to make money, but you're not only, it's helping you make money, but the best way to make money in the world is by fulfilling a problem, like solving something. And you are helping these people become financially free. Mm -hmm. And in turn, you are also benefiting, benefiting from that, but you have yeah. to also show people that you can do that. If you didn't uh, have show your good lifestyle on Instagram, other people will be like, yo, what? Yeah. Uh, what, what? You know, here's this thing. Uh, this business is really hard because I love to help every people, but mm -hmm. not everyone wants to be helped and not everyone wants to help themselves up. Yeah. yeah. So what the, the hardest part about this business and the reason why maybe it doesn't have that much of a success rate, even though you have the, the best systems, the best, uh, the best resources, and everything is the fact that people just like the idea of being something, the idea of being rich, the, the idea of having money, the idea of having a Bentley, the idea mm. of having a, a nice watch, the idea yeah. of just being something in their dreams, but they just like the idea, not the Yeah, execution. of course, they don't want to, to work for it. But the, the thing is, uh, maybe you also tell about that, I think since we also started the agency, the funny thing is for us, we just, the whole thing had nothing to do, we never watched uh, videos about it. No. We, we just... Uh, out uh, of the idea of ourselves coming here to study, like for the studies medicine, and I study dentistry for the people who, who don't know. Um, and we started the agency just because we saw like uh, the other people who also in the home countries couldn't study, and then we created something. And um, it's also so much work that we put in, like that the people didn't even see before we launched the whole yeah. thing. But I would say the best, this is the best, this journey from really zero. Now thinking back and those nights where you really sit there and feel stupid of searching up a lawyer to ask, you know, it's it's yeah. weird. You sit there as a young boy and you're just like, why? what, you what are we doing? You have your whiteboard, you're making up names <laughs> and different yeah. stuff, like different strategies, going yeah. through Notion, trying to figure out workspaces and yeah. everything. So the problems you are solving now, you you had them yourself? Yes, exactly. Yeah, that is. Well, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. That's, that's how you yeah. do it. And I, and also the thing was in the beginning it was also because it always sounds same for you. But I mean we know you now, and I can tell for sure. Like, you you are someone you you try to make the best for you and your family. You f you had a passion, and then 
this somehow got combined and that is what the people don't see they always think ah oh, they just say they like doing that and whatever and they like helping people but it it is really true because in the beginning where you don't know if it will pay out or not you need something to keep you going and the only thing that that works is basically a passion or some situation that you had been stuck in, inside and that you want to help other people with so for sure i think passion is good but not for beginners I I I really believe that because I followed my 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 passion. Thank you. I followed my passion for three or four years, and mm -hmm. financially, so I think it was es essential for me to to go three or four years learning everything, like yeah. putting the foundation, gaining experience and stuff. But with the right choices, I could have done really be like really, really, what? really better than what I did with yeah. with some some tweaks and right choices. So. The people think like if you are 16 or 17 or 18, 19, 20, and if you're young, you can't do this stuff. Yeah. But success is all about your decisions in life. Success is all about how you spend your time. Mm -hmm. And a 16-year-old kid has the same 24 hours like a 40-year-old. Yeah. And like uh, uh, a guy with a lot of experience at some point had no experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Everybody starts at some point, but if you just listen to the, if you just Romanians don't don't know this, but and they don't want to get help. Most of them, they their ego is too big to ask for help because it's seen as if you ask for help, you're weak, yeah, and you don't deserve respect. And I thought the same. That's why I failed with my agency three months in because. I didn't want help from nobody. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to hire n nobody. I didn't want to to like listen to other advice and stuff. I thought I, I knew every, everything. Mm. But once I realized I, I know shit and uh, I'm, I'm not good at what I'm doing and I need to like listen to the ones who actually know what they're doing, that's when actually progress happened. And this happens in like every every aspect of life. Like, Romanians are really stubborn. Maybe it's not just Romanians, but this is what I saw in my experience. They mm. are really stubborn. Um, and their metrics is their mind. So r in Romania, the system, it's not that bad. And uh, you can live off with little money. Uh, the people here are not that brainwashed and you saw it. Maybe yes, maybe yes. in your interviews, you, you, you got yeah, some. Yeah, we went, we went to the right, to the people that are more interesting, but we ourselves enjoy living in Romania because, because of that Romania fact. is not so westernized, you yeah. know. We are from two countries which are crazy brainwashed, like insane, like they are the leaders of, of Western society after America. So mm. that's, that's why for me it was really funny what, Tate preached for the last two years, and not yeah. just for me. Maybe for the also the people who just like been living here. Like everything that Tate preaches is like it's the normal stuff here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we found. That's what we it's, found. Yeah. People like, were saying it's everyday stuff. Like, what? Uh, we, we 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 were born in in like. Women knowing the role, men knowing the role, men mm. are the providers, women are, are the the ones taking care of the kids because they are the best at doing that. It's yes. not like... So, people like, if, if Romanians will see me because uh, the, the feminist uh, uh, arrived in Romania, so to say. Yeah, we, we uh, realized. I say, well. yeah, uh, the traditional way, uh, the women should stay with the kids and cook and stuff. No, uh, after all, like, from my example with women and stuff, the 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 best women I got to know was oh, were also the mo the the they they knew their role. So the most yeah. traditional, or like the most, most feminine. The mo the most they, they just follow nature. That is the point. It's not about people always say you just want uh, to keep it like that because it always had been like that, and you are you want to stick to that because you know it. No, why was it for so many years like that? Because it worked. So when nature does something and tries to evolve or change it, and it doesn't work, it gets back to how it was before and it had been for thousands of years like that. So even now, you know, I, before, man, when we came to study, we were watching all those podcasts, Stephen Crowder, all the Americans just going crazy about feminism. Yeah. But now we're just so relaxed. We're just like, look, the women that we search for, we're going to find them. And yeah. uh, the, the rest will die down anyways because people <laughs> will realize they will not have kids. And they will, you know, that that is the point. So it's really something... I don't hate people who believe in two different things. They everyone has the right to to do that thing, but we can just 
really chill and be like, yeah, this is gonna. So gonna th go this back. is this is really interesting, and that's why I, what why I liked you guys like uh, kind of getting into that stuff, and also the they did really good to did really good to Romania, and uh, uh, I know it's it's really like. Uh, controversial stuff that Tate got arrested and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And now they are trying to get a revenge on Romania. Mm -hmm, but, yeah. guys, Romania, it's not a corrupt country. Every every country is corrupt. Every. Yes, that's but the thing. Every, we even always, at high levels, but yeah. you just can't see it. You, just, that's what, what, you know what I always say? Like, Romania is corrupt and small from from really in the small things. Let's say if you want to get a parking lot, but it's not you can't reserve it, Putin you can't pay for it. There. But then you you know you you know the right people, yeah. you get it. And the funny thing is, the Germans also when I came in, they were like, oh, Romania is corrupt, this and that. And I'm just like, look, Germany is also corrupt, but they're only the rich and the politicians are corrupt. Yeah, so it, it's, it's the small yeah. man can't do something, but you know it's just weird. So this this stuff that, that is happening to them has been happening in every country, of in course. every state, and like it happened with politicians in Romania, with really a high high network people in Romania, they get locked up for some stupid shit and stuff. Yeah. So are they what they happen to them? It's like again normal here because we know what happens. Like yeah. everyone talks, they don't really try so much to hide it because like yeah nobody will actually do something about mm -hmm. it so let's not try that much to, to hide it they just messed with the like they upset the, the wrong guys and yeah. when you when you upset the wrong guys and uh then it's it's like your head becomes a prize for some uh, yes some uh, some entities just this is what, what will happen it's yeah it's just it's normal and all the the what happens else in the world i actually had the may i'm i'm really sorry that you got you guys and the, maybe the people listening can't understand romanian that great but i had the the chance to interview the um, the like the chief of mason ma masonry in romania you know what masonry yeah, is yeah 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 so like the guys there are called also illuminati and stuff yeah freemason yeah, 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 Free yeah, yeah it's yeah. not illuminati and stuff but i had the i had the chance to do a like almost two hours interview with mm -hmm. him and i rolled uh, even behind the scenes i learned a lot of stuff so it's some crazy st uh, crazy stuff that is happening around us but all i'm saying is that er everyone that's watching here shouldn't actually care about what's going on no that's what i say as well yeah. because you're you're so small even if you have millions and millions you're still so small and yeah you won't have an impact only on you your family and your yeah tribe. that's the thing you shouldn't you know because that thing is actually growing like you can see it more and more like a lot of people don't know about it that's the f thing that that uh that people are not educated about those in i don't know about romania but in germany i know for sure like those clubs lion club rotary club it's everywhere and that is all freemason and the people don't know about it but the thing that you should be careful like you said for yourself that's why for example my parents uh, always told us a lot about it and uh, raise awareness that we should be careful which people you're around with you know because you suddenly when you become a doctor you get a nice invitation you go there everyone has good money you can do good business mm -hmm. but you pay with something different you know and that's your values and your your soul in the end and um everything yeah. comes with a price yes everything no matter what's the favor it's it comes with the price at some point and a lot of people after that started to think that i'm in i'm a freemason and stuff yeah but yeah, I wanted to ask about that because I saw I saw an Instagram story. You had your your daily task list, and the last point was like pray. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if you know, we are also very religious, both of us. And we just I just want to know, out of interest, how is your perspective on on religion? So again, uh, traditional Romanian family always go to church on Sunday. Yeah. I was I was born in this kind mm -hmm. of family, and my parents are like extreme like believers in god like mm. orthodox they, yeah, yeah yeah orthodox they pray a lot mm -hmm. they go to church they go to different churches mm -hmm. just to like i don't know to see a better priest or stuff mm -hmm. so i i have to say uh, all my life i i really like saw the the spiritual part of my my parents they mm -hmm. really they were really believers and uh, i i at some point like going to all the the changes and Maybe everyone just at some point forgets about God, mm -hmm. and uh, start. 
we all we 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 born we learn from our parents we need to pray every night and every morning we mm-hmm. do it when we are little but at some point i don't know in what i saw in my my circles we all forget about it mm-hmm. so it's not that uh you you saw that i uh, i had my on the 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 task list to pray mm-hmm. in in 2022 i really was i i worked like a, a robot no mm-hmm. no feelings um I, I really have a great relationship. Like right, I really love my girlfriend and she's really supportive. But the fact that I put my emotions aside and everything aside mm-hmm. uh, besides business, it's really like it messed with some 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 balances and like mm. how everything around me that, the works besides business. So business yeah. worked fine. And uh, my goal for 2023 was just like starting to be more thoughtful and more more self-conscious about maybe a higher power and learn more about it because first of all my my mom is really connected to this stuff mm. and i i can learn it's not about just learning about god but just being more more conscious more 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 like more like better just better with myself because you know i think success and especially in my case success and i'll be really honest with you comes from like really deep deep like scars deep scars at some point i i didn't feel good uh, good enough at some point i didn't feel loved loved enough mm. at some point i i felt like i was useless and the fact that's the reality the most of them most of the people that are successful s- successful don't really talk about this but i know people around me that are yeah. successful they're aware so the only reason i'm I'm going and I'm going harder and harder in business. It's just because I don't feel like I'm good enough. Mm. It's just because of that. Like, of course, it's a lot of pleasure. I love working with people that I work. I love growing the business. I love everything. I mean, nowadays I just do meetings for living. It's just meetings and hiring people. Mm. So it's nothing like really special, but it works. It does the job. But the only, the, the reason at some point, like I'm really going hard, like, full monk mode like you said like no distractions uh no girl around no yeah. family around nothing and just work Th- this this is what what keeps me going this cars the the mm-hmm. the, f- the feeling of not being enough mm-hmm. and uh i know those those type of uh, feelings or the 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 types i i know i have inside they won't do me good at some point maybe when i want to have a family and you yeah, know, so yeah. my my child would have the same scars as me because I wasn't responsible enough to to treat them, and I thought like the best way to 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 go around this is like being more thoughtful, being more to pray to to be more yes. mindful, yes. to see like praying like a meditation. Yes, I, I I always thought meditation is stupid because I'm I'm the guy with action, so I. Uh, after I like I I got over overthinking stuff. I just only acted on everything, yeah. like mm. full full straight. I don't give a shit about how I feel. Just just do the stuff that I need to do. Yeah. And this is this is oh, I'm I'm really get glad that you asked because it's still something new to me. It's still something I'm kind of running from, but it's something I really want to to get over. Like like really do better. This yeah, year. it's you know it's important because. Um, I think it was the same story for me. Like I grew up in a very uh, religious family, Catholic. You go to church every Sunday all together. It's just a thing. You just do it because everyone does it around you. But there comes a point where for yourself, when you especially hit puberty, you just, yeah, you just push that a bit aside. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah. Mm. But for me, it was more hard times and struggle that actually pulled me back to it. And not because I was used to it, but I saw, okay, this makes sense. It gives me really power. And um, especially like you said, when when you actually use your uh, lose yourself in the work, in the end you are just like a robot, but just as a human. And um, this is exactly the point that will not do good for the connections to a future family. You know, you would become one of those guys who just has a lot of money, is somehow working like a workaholic, but there is nothing else going for him, and the people all around you are just leaving. Yeah. And that is something. Uh, also, I realized you have to be so careful because it's. 
I always ask myself when I was younger, like workaholic, I never got it. Like how can you be addicted to it or like to work so much? But it's really that firstly the things of maybe the scars that you want, you need something to fill it, you know, this gap that is in your in your mind. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, yeah, especially men, I think, love to fill it with work. And um, yeah, it's. I think it can end up uh, very, very bad. And I think it's good that you that it, you try to. It's interesting some because hard times for you made made you more religious. Hard yes. times for me made made me more like whenever I did more harder. Whenever I did something or whenever I like when I got over my my uh, my uh, over anorexia and mm -hmm. I started recovering. My parents used to tell me, "Yeah, thank God, thank God, mm -hmm. thank God," and I, I always used to tell them, "No, no, it's me, it's me, it's me, yeah, it's me. It's not, it's not God. I, I, I train two times per day and eat, uh, yeah. eat six times per day, like good food. I, I wake woke up every day just with that in mind. It's not like something woke me. It was me. And the same in business, like, and my mother still like this, like say this, thank God, and don't forget to pray and stuff, like, and." I was telling her, pray for what? It's me mm. that did this. It's uh, like, I had it, not this hatred, but I, I just forgot like my spirituality and it just mm. full functioned as as uh, uh, a man without emotions that has something to prove, but but not really for himself, but like for for others. And uh, I knew, I, I knew it's like, I evolved in this thing when I when I bought my Bentley. So Bentley, when did you buy it? Uh, in in December. So okay, um, it's actually the 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 second car. The first uh, car I bought it's it's in production, but it will be a surprise. Wow, oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. way. But the Bentley was basically your first car ever. Like your so Bentley, yeah, is the first car. <laughs> also, it's my my dream car. I have my Man. my cake for twenty the twenty birthday a birthday. It's with um, a Bentley. So wow. hey, congratulations for thank, that. Man, thank, really. Thanks, but this is this is what what I wanted to get. When I got the Bentley, I felt like I do not want to share it with nobody. Mm. Like I wanted to keep it for me because it makes me happy. It's like a, a a trophy for me to say like yeah I'm 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 kind of going in the right direction for, yeah. for my for my age but uh, after all kind, kind of you <laughs> kind of going in the <laughs> <laughs> well it's a lot of work to do man I I like I told you that there are what what I did is it's some right decisions at yeah you can call it right point I I want to say the the right moment it was that I started younger mm -hmm. and uh, I kept going I really was consistent I mean in in four years since I started my business, I don't know if I if it was a day that I didn't think about like business and everything. I mm. didn't have no no rest and stuff. Uh, and all my success, it's not based on like luck or stuff. It's just based a lot of consistency and like I told you, it's the right decisions. You can you can spend all of your time building a, a small business or you can spend all of your time being building a big business. There is no difference because the time is the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. you'll, uh, you'll, you'll have the same effort, the same the same stress, but it's just the, the, the right vehicle because the the boat you are in, it's it's more important than how hard are you row. It's, yeah. uh, it's, uh, it's a co quote from Alex Hormozzi and it, it really stuck to me. And uh, I really... To tell everybody that's at the beginning the thing you start it's more more important than everything mm. because it will set you up like for the next months or years in your life and you at some point just like like people starting like medicine like yeah. studying uh, studying medicine like people going on on uh, on a university like in a university they they think they they teach them something but after three or four years they Oh shit! I don't have experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's I, the thing. I the 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 best job I can get it's like on half norm, may, yeah. maybe a bank or stuff. That's what happened to my brother. So he studied really well, and he he end up in in a bank working in in a bank fixing like computers for for not many not much money. Mm. And for me, like that was was something to to to. Uh, it was a standard for me to run away from mm. that thing, mm -hmm. and. Um, that's that's probably what I want to to people to to understand that if if now they are in a place that they don't like it's just because they don't do the things that they need to do. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just that like if you trust me if you focus on 
a thing that statistically does good. Like for example, a uh, market marketing agency. Every business needs marketing. Mm -hmm. Every ne because every business needs clients. Yeah. So if you just focus for two years, getting better at getting clients for other businesses, you'll make money. It's yeah. it's as simple as that. But what what would you say to all those people who, for example, you have a lot of people who you're teaching online mm -hmm. how to start these businesses. And this thing is growing like crazy. You see gurus online, uh, people like yourself who are on YouTube mm -hmm. raking in millions of views, telling millions of people around the world to do this. What would you say to those young people who are saying, man, you can't make money as a, as within, with a social media marketing agency anymore. It's too saturated. So just search for how how many businesses opened in, in so in romania in 2021 it was a record-breaking bus uh, businesses like open businesses uh there were like more than a hundred thousand for sure not uh, not every <laughs> of them just like yeah. succeeds yeah but i know for a fact every uh, every one of them needs clients mm, so yeah. for me every one of them is a client but like see my agency we have 13 clients working at max capacity and we really want to give good results. And we are, we have 13 clients in the whole world. Mm. Imagine how many other businesses, not only in the dental niche, but in every niche are, yeah, are out there. there. So, so it's, it's mad to think that it's saturated and it's really a bad excuse to not start something because yeah, for sure. So 99% of uh, the people who start this, they are doing the basic stuff, like the stuff they, they hear around, they hear from a friend and stuff. So they will get the, the smaller fish. But the ones that, and there are not many people who do this, but the, the ones who are really, they, they get really personal in the process and they, and they take their re results as their pride. Mm. Th those are the ones who are actually succeeding. So even in my, my, my program, no matter how how much information I give to them or, or I tell them, this is what you need to do. This is exactly what you need to do. Mm -hmm. This is the end result. This is exactly what you need to do. Just, I don't know, 10% of them do it. Just because the other 90% are like, yeah, I'll do it probably later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I have something else to do. Or the shiny object syndrome that, they 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 think the grass is greener on the other side, but they but they don't understand that the grass it's greener always on your side that you're yes, watering, yeah. like mm. where 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 you water the grass, and also the I like the Abraham Lincoln uh, code, like if I had the nine hours to chop a tree, I would spend six of them sharpening my axe, mm -hmm. which is it's it's really 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 deep if you understand it, and also most of people think that. The money I make now, I have to do like really s crazy stuff mm -hmm. and spend all of my day doing magic or <laughs> black magic and stuff. Yeah. No, what I'm doing is just connecting people that are better than me at mm -hmm. working at uh, the same goal. And uh, I'm, I'm just leveraging my time with other people's time and software. Mm. So that's all. We all have 24 hours in the day. Just some of us mm -hmm. leverage that time through software to social media to i mean imagine you had to to we had to record this podcast every time uh, uh, people like came across and we had to record it for for for, for him just to so, uh, to see it like mm. once but with youtube now we can record this once and a lot yeah. of people will see it yes so it's leverage you have just to use leverage but mastering your time is mastering success that's all and choosing the right vehicle, it's the right, uh, right. It's it's just so crucial for your success. And I really wish people would would take it like a more simpler than than it is because it's actually really simple to get here. You just have to do the right things for a long period. Consistency. Consistency. Yeah. But the reason most of them don't have success is they don't do what they need to do. They don't believe in what they need to believe. That's I think the they, biggest point. And they don't. They they are not what they uh, what they need to be. Like you have to be the yeah. the, the person that's like for example I I 
I didn't do one million dollars until I become a, a person of million dollars. That's mm. that's what mm. I like to believe. Like you have to deserve the money you make. You have because money is just like linked directly to value. Mm-hmm. So the more money you make, just shows that the more value you you solve in society. Mm-hmm. And when you do it better. The, the more money you'll make us, the more value you'll, yeah. you'll this the society. Like you, the the content you do, the more valuable it will become to an audience, and it will be more shared and liked. The more audience you'll you'll gather because mm. it's valuable. You share something to people, and they value it. So it's it's just some basic principles, but people just fail because they think it's more complex than this. But it's not. It's really simple. To if you want to getting rich, it's simple. It's hard for sure. So simple, it's it's not equal with easy. It's in, it's it's simple, but it's hard. But I think it's much more painful to stay like poor and stay like where you are than rather than like evolving. So for me, the pain of like being the same was way bigger than the pain of like the price I had to pay of the pain of success to say yeah. mm. the pain of staying alone the pain of going through it that was like yeah but I think the big the big point where a lot of people struggle is exactly this uh, of firstly the time that you have to wait until the first success comes so to to still believe in yourself and in what you're doing and secondly um, if you have a system built or finance financial background by your family for those guys I I honestly think it's it's so much harder because, like you said, you had this this former you that you were fighting against, or mm. we had also each one our own stories. Our families were not doing good. We were studying here. We had to do something to finance our studies, and that it, for us, I think that was for us really the we had such a easy motivation. I mean, it's also connected to a lot of pain, but ours was so easy because it was like black and white. So either you work now. And uh, you 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 earn money to finance your studies, or you have a huge problem. Yeah, and success is the only option in that case, or survival yeah. is the exactly. only option. Exactly, I think that that is something. Where I'm also when I look back, I'm grateful for that because I'm like I I honestly have to say I don't know if I would could do what we are doing right now with everything if I would have just uh, had been in the old comfort zone and the money is just coming and this kind of thing. I think it's ridiculously hard. What is your advice to those people? What would you say? So if you're living with your parents, remember you're not, you, you will not be at your highest potential living in comfort because your parents give food and also shelter and practically and your, your survival is secured. Mm. Uh, so first of all, if you are living with your parents, the first thing you need to do is to just leave, get out, <laughs> yeah, get out of that. It's I no, I know you love your parents, and I I'm pretty sure they love you as well. Just to understand that the fact you you want to do something, but I this 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 is important. When I told to my parents I want to leave the the house and to move, I gave them the proof to believe in me. So it wasn't like. I was playing CSGO, I was playing yeah. video games 12 hours per day, and one day I thought, yeah, yo, guys, I want to leave uh, leave house. And yeah, go don't to, do that. To, if you're at home long. and you're just playing Call of Duty yeah. all day long, yeah. you <laughs> haven't like got the mindset to be able to leave and make yourself like profitable at all. Yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah. My my mother was 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 believing me because like she she really thought this is a good change because I knew how to cook cook if I knew how to cook I will I will have the food and she was yeah. like yeah she know uh, he knows how to cook he'll he'll survive he so, yeah he'll, especially mm-hmm. as a Romanian mother she yeah. was like <laughs> he he yeah. will survive so I had to give my parents proof that I'm worthy of that change so if you're yeah. not worthy of 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 something just don't ask yourself why you are you're not having that because you're not worthy yet. And uh, and also, it's it's a, s- a stupid and so gener- generic advice to get out of your comfort zone, but the truth yeah. is, you you need to go through through pain to to understand yeah. some stuff. The fact that I I moved alone and I had to be d- build everything from from the ground up. I had toxic r- relationships. Mm-hmm. I had uh, friends who who envy me and uh, hate me. Everything build build me up. Mm. Uh, I'm. I'm not gonna say that I'm really at this point. I'm really like. I don't think getting rich or getting wise or getting experience should be a long process. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be, because I went through a process of building f- 
for example, my agency two years. If you're listening to me, listening to me, and do exact the same, the the things I'll tell you in the next two months, you'll you'll reach maybe half of my results, not in one year, but in two or three months. If you just do the things I I I'll mm-hmm. tell you to do, because it's a system, it's just a process, it's just a a, a pairs of decisions that get you to the result. But if you do just do this, you you'll you'll be there. Maybe there are there'll be some things like. The timing, yeah, and the business, the niche, all of this, yeah. This is things you you can control. Uh, you you the niche you can control. The timing you can control. But what you can control is your yeah. In life, input, some things your, yeah. you, you can put control in input. So I don't think I'm I'm not really uh, agreeing with the the stuff that you need to wait a long time. Mm-hmm. You need it if you try to build something from zero and not listening to the the guys that already did it because it's like you think. It's stupid to listen to other people because you know everything mm-hmm. and you have mm-hmm. the ego and stuff. If you are too stubborn and too egocentric and you don't listen to others, I mean, you deserve your 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 fate, your path. It will be hard. It will, you'll 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 just you'll you'll get stuck in 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 some some obstacles that you you never had to to be stuck in the first place. Like yeah. you you understand me? So. That that's that I'm saying. It's like for people my age, stop being stubborn and listen to people that actually like been through it. Also, try to to evolve or to build like some some uh, moral compass or like a, a process in your head. Because I I was anor- I I got into anorexia because I start believing everything on mm-hmm. the internet. The same when I uh, failed with a lot of business models. I mm-hmm. started believing uh, if if something appeared, I would just jump to another thing and believe everything about it. Mm-hmm. So you need to use a bit of logic here and like uh, try to do to 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 build an intellect to to understand some stuff. But other than that, yeah, just understand that how you spend your time is how how your your life is going. So. Yeah, it's our it's our bi- biggest asset, you know. That's what people have to understand. Also, um, the more you actually start working in a certain uh, business, you realize actually you you get good business ideas that would make good money, but you're like, I don't have the time to actually execute that, and yeah. you have to decide what is more important to do right now. And um, yeah, but I think it's it's a great way when you arrive there that you really realize I don't have the the time to do it, or because there's so many people who just ah oh, I don't have the right idea. Um. Uh, yeah. How do you guys find? I think there is so so much out there. So find your thing, spend your time on that, and and stick to it, and uh, try to be become so good and uh, make it so efficient that you don't have the time to do other, other trying stuff. Trying to even. reinvent the wheel, it's a big mistake. Yeah. It's impossible. Uh, you know what? My dad, a quote my dad always used to give to me. He said that there's nothing new underneath the sun. I'm pretty sure it's not his. He took it from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. But it is completely true. There's nothing. You can't start anything new. You know, I saw a picture, like two days ago, I saw a picture of in the 1800s, there were electric scooters back then. But just not as nice as the limes that we have right now. So <laughs> apart from the things like the cars or aeroplanes, you're not going to make anything new. You know, your drop shipping business, everybody's done it before. Your t-shirt business, everybody's done it before. Everything that you want to start, maybe you're just copying it from somewhere or making it more streamlined and better for the customer. Yeah. But for you to sit down for hours and hours and think up of this is the most crazy idea it's never going to be yeah never ever yeah also because times change you know it's also about the times maybe (laughs) stuff that we don't need right now will come back because the time will change and and uh, people will will need it again so who knows maybe we had the ancient and ancient civilization people say that before and underneath uh, the they, pyramids they already did the, the 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 cars and stuff and we just copy from them who knows <laughs> who knows? I, yeah. I, who knows i like i like this type of guys i i i mean in the last three or four months i really just tried to i dedicated my youtube and stuff to spreading more more truth more more about the the the, the stuff that they they're they're telling at the news but it's completely fake and also with the 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 vaccine and everything mm, yeah. which i it's uh, I I really so Romania wasn't that affected. They it was weird that they obeyed so much. Yeah, that I the found so strange. I I I found so strange as well. Bec- I I I didn't think Romania would obey so much to this. No. I I 
I really thought they would like Romanians would start a, a revolution. Yeah. yeah, I mean they kind of did, but not as much as yeah, we, no, we. They don't. They, no. they, they didn't. They It's only at the end where it ended. Where I was like, yeah, finally. Just, just and just at the end, but they didn't like in in this, my small town. People were like wearing masks and everything, <laughs> and I love uh, my parents at the, the, this point. They didn't give a fuck. So my parents knew the this issue. They they didn't get the vaccine. They didn't get that. I said, yeah. if I get a ill, it's just some some yeah. easy some way. He, I'll, I'll I'll drink that. I'll mm -hmm. some natural remedies. It's no problem. I'll be back to work. So, uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it, it it is nice to to have a voice like in also in Romania like Tate's been uh, so 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 big that it influenced people from around the world. Yeah, but. Romanians need some voices that can talk about like the stuff, like the controversial stuff, like what they do at Davos or mm. with their s weird meetings and stuff. Yeah, uh, it's it's so much so so much deep stuff. I and think I think that these countries are the only ones who can speak up uh, in 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 those kind of uh, topics because in other countries, trust me, you have no chance. You have no chance. Like if you live in Germany, I had that. Like I was going to school. It was always me against the rest of the class and everyone would, was looking at me like like I would be Adolf Hitler himself just <laughs> with my values. I'm not joking, you know? Or even when I said like, look, I'm 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 uh, I'm half German. I have my 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 uh, my how do you say? My grand grandfathers and all my ancestry and I'm I'm proud on that, you know? And it has nothing to do with uh with World War One or two with the Nazis or whatever. Even for that, you know, people would look shocked at you and they would be like, How can you say stuff like that? Same with the vaccine, same with abortion, same with LGBTQ rights and all of that stuff. I think the only countries who really have the force uh, to because they have multiple people who speak out against this are Eastern European countries right now. Aren't you scared, Rarish? If you're gonna start, if you're gonna start speaking out about things that are kind of controversial, you know, you've seen the fate of Tate's. You've <sighs> seen the fate of some other people as well. I mean, you've interviewed some people inside um, these secret organizations. Aren't you scared? No, it's it, no matter how hard you get, this, you go on the subjects and stuff. If you know the right people, you you'll be okay. Yeah, but the Tate's knew the right people, didn't they? No, they they upset the right people. Yeah, with them the thing is they were the, uh, just think about it. The Tates had a num had been the number one enemy number of the whole world. Yeah, for a long time, and they they even told them take the money and Elon Musk just said it like take the billion uh, dollars and and we will leave you alone. But he's like no, 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 no. The the fact is, uh, all the stuff he said about like you 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 tag as conspiracies, mm. they they didn't bother anyone. Because the the ones who are ruling the world, they don't give a fuck. So well, like they don't think anybody's gonna believe them. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, it's, it's no. No, it's no problem if they believe them. Yeah. It's even no, if it's no problem, it will still continue on. The, yeah, yeah, it's it's no problem if everyone believes that we live in a matrix and you need to break free. It's no problem. Yeah. What you're gonna do? Well, you start a business. You'll make more money. You'll pay more taxes. And everybody, everybody will be okay. Yeah, God say it. Say to people that they need to build a business because we need taxes. We need money from taxes. Some mm. kid gets motivated, builds a billion dollar uh, business. He will get taxed. So mm. it's no problem. That's the capitalism. It's built that way. But it, they, they, the mistake wasn't there. The mistake was just simply just uh, putting Romania on a map and just targeting as a, a country of Yeah, there is no laws. If you have money, you can come here and, mm -hmm. and make everything. And the authorities said, hmm, maybe yeah. not. Yeah, because that also didn't put a good light on uh, on Romania. On, oh, yeah, the, on, on the authorities. So some, some, somebody said, yeah, let's, let's be a, 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 a heroes and, and, and the, the, uh, the, the run of those state brothers. And now yeah. they... On, in, in UK and every, everywhere, the 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 Tates are really uh, uh, of villains, you know. Yeah, oh, they're evil. It's easy. It's easy, you know, if you say something like that about man. Even look, it's nothing proven yet, and everyone. I just read comments below our interview, like 
how, uh, how you can you believe a misogynist and stuff? I uh, know not misogynist. They said um, rapist, human rapist. And that yeah. was now it went from human traffic. To ra I'm just like yo, what the hell? Like soon they titled murders. Like it's over. Same like happened to Johnny Depp. All the respect to the to the guys. I think for sure they'll make a comeback at some yeah. point, and uh, uh, they probably make a bigger. Come back, come back then, 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 yeah, than what they did because they'll be be so as heroes, you know, heroes that uh, just beat the system somehow. Yeah, and that's why, uh, for sure, all respect. But uh, like, all, all, not all, everything they say it's it's like I I agree with. Same that's with us. Same with us. We yeah. say exactly the same so thing. So for sure, there are things that I that I don't agree. But what I agree is that it kind of. Uh, I told you guys it made canceling uh, the the cancel part like a trophy for people in this niche. Like if you get canceled, you are you get a oh you have a medal. Yeah. You 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 are a, a fighter for truth. You, yeah. you speak the truth. I it, it's controversial controversial affirmation, but after all, elites kind of make the 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 world working like they. Mm. It there is some kind of balance, for sure. It, it's not the perfect balance. We are a lot of people. We can like uh, uh, be all okay, but after all, we ha we have all the resources. We have social media. We have podcasts like this, which people p people that come here and share their experiences. You can learn from and you can apply it to your life. You have all the resources to to be successful. You just have to cut all the bullshit in your life. Just say. I buy it to all the people that doesn't support your vision because it's it's okay. It's part of the process. Yeah. yeah. Just do the right things. Take care of your health. Like eat the right uh, the right food. Train a lot. Make your, your yourself like really tough mentally and physically. Do something that will share value in the world. Like get inclined to to other businesses or helping other students study in in Romania or just I don't know feed feed make some healthy breakfast in your high school and give it to your colleagues yeah. there are always ideas see, out there see, yeah. see what happens don't try to reinvent the world that's like like i said earlier then yeah. it's a bit big mistake it's just try to solve problems that are are your problems or are just like the really obvious problems yeah in the society around you. and try to make it like the success try to 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 prove yourself that you can do like this these things like these big things not try to like don't make this success just because you want to revenge on your family or yeah, your, and your stuff. friends and stuff i think that also doesn't work for the long run i, it's I don't not know good for you mentally it's, it, yeah. it, it eats you from from inside yeah. like this this yeah. hatred it will yeah it, it's it, it comes from i mean that's why it's one of the of the deadly sins it's it's like the how you say it, um when you are Greed, Je gluttony, jealousy, jealousy, jealousy yeah. Jealousy, yeah. yeah. It, it eats you up. Like, it, there is no point. And those Envy people, is poison for yeah. the soul. Yeah, it is. It is. Like, it's it's only about yourself. That's the funny thing. Because the people you, you may think about, uh, they maybe don't care. They maybe don't even think about you. And it's just, yeah, for they you. They don't. They don't. No. But I really wish more people would just get, like, listen to their spark. And actually will stop being so ignorant and so stubborn. And actually listen to people that share the things because yeah we all have some kind of interest but again all that interest comes from like a, a, a motive inside like something yeah and the reason i share the info is because at some point i didn't have them mm. uh, and there are so many people like me that are doing in lots of like areas and expertises you can learn from free like from youtube and yeah. courses you can pay like you said like really cheap cheaper than university for sure mm. But make your success your success, like, and ask yourself what you want to do. It's completely okay if you if you want if you don't want to be like me or you don't want to be like those two sexy guys. It's completely. <laughs> <laughs> I am sexy. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I I, I mean, make make it your own, because at some point you don't want to get to the point you you'll buy a Lamborghini just for for the sake of what other yeah. things about you, yeah. because. After all, that's in, that's an object, and yeah. you, the Lamborghini won't make you happy. No, I'm not saying that it won't make your life better. Trust me, it driving a, a Lamborghini or a Bentley every day, it will it'll, it'll be hell fun, <laughs> uh, and uh, you, you you'll for sure smile in it. 
Yeah. But after all, it's you. You get to the Lambo, you get to that Rolex, you get to that freedom just by sharing value and exchanging value for yes, giving value and people exchange that for gives they give you money and this is the the whole principle of yeah like getting rich like the right way sharing value and exchanging yeah. it for for money and also to have a fulfilling fulfilling life that's yeah that's yeah what, what comes with it make If kids yeah. Have a good Find family. People, good yeah, family. help other people as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a simple stuff. And uh, again, I, I, I really, really think I, or I, I really hope that this podcast, like doing with you and having my audience here as well, like they saw a, a part of me. Like I'm not superficial, guys. I know, I know, flexing yeah. is important <laughs> on social <laughs> yeah. media, but after all, I told you the reality. It's a long process, a process that people. Don't make it just just because they don't do what they need to do, and that's all. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's literally all. If you do the right stuff, you'll you'll create the right stuff in your life. Yes. So I, I have yeah. a question. Now, let's think about the future. Now, mm -hmm. the future. You're inside the digital marketing space. Mm -hmm. um, you are, and I'm saying this. You are a guru mm -hmm. of of the whole sp sp sphere. Let's say. What is because we recently had a look at things like Chat GBT, mm -hmm. Ride Sonic, um, Go High Level, these amazing new technologies and AI that's ha happening right now. Mm -hmm. How is that going to affect the, the digital marketing space? Do you think it's going to affect it? There are tools, they are meant to, to, to do the space better and mm -hmm. simpler and easier. And so, I mean, everyone wants to simplify the processes and make it easier, like. Mm. Go high level. They're doing great stuff. ChatGPT is just the, the tip of the iceberg of yeah. what you can do and the the things you can use it. Uh, I think it's a little too too early to say things, but you should for sure not be ignorant about those things, and you should ha you should learn as quickly as possible how to use them as tools. They are tools. Mm. I don't think they're they're gonna replace. They, they're gonna replace like who who knows? Maybe in further future. There will be like robots who will make marketing plans for you and set up every yeah. funnel and every yeah. marketing campaign. Who knows? I mean, that's the. It's like the natural evolution. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not like I'm gonna cry myself out because at some point somebody a, a robot will do a better job than me because that's a, the evolution and it's my responsibility to, to evolve to, with to, it. To, yeah, yeah, to evolve with it and build on top of it the, mm -hmm. with the founda foundation that. Other people work so hard for it to give us to the public, like mm. those 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 tools. So I think it's only good. It just don't try to be so distracted from the the AI stuff, AI stuff, and because uh, it will replace yeah, it will replace the people that are already replaceable. Mm, so yeah. it's not something that it yes. just it just took a fact out of the water in front of everybody's eyes. So yeah, and I think also that um, if you actually do the right development you and you will be the person who knows to use those things you will not be useless so that's yeah. just a, it's just uh let's say a small switch in perspective but in the end if you do the right steps like like before you know yeah after all i think uh, those those yeah AIs and don't want replicate human emotions or stories no. or experiences maybe just not not now so even even though i always tell people to to think long term just do the things like right now the trust try try starting with the step one step zero and go to the step one and go to the step two those things like for example if you want to make money the the first the best thing you can do is just contact someone that may need your help That's all. Mm, yeah. Don't try to use those fancy softwares, or you you, so you start thinking that you need a fancy laptop or a, a desktop or stuff. No, you just yeah. use your phone. And if you know how to write good text or use ChatGPT, because some owners, business owners, don't know about it because yeah. they are yeah. ignorant or stuff. Just help them with ChatGPT to write better copy, better mm. uh, product descriptions, and you'll provide value to someone their product maybe will reach someone that will it, the, the product will provide value everyone is happy mm. yes don't 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 
don't make it too com- complex. Simplify it as as much as possible. Because, like, I I wanna I, I'm I I can't stress enough on this, but it's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. That's all. Yeah. It's just train line. But I'm glad you 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 asked me about. Yeah. and go high level you're you're a man of culture in this well we're trying we're trying our best to like uh, i mean we the other day we we messed around with it a little bit and then i went deep for hours and hours into like all these different ais and how we can actually make money with them and how like you said how we can use them as tools not be afraid that they're going to replace us mm-hmm. but use them to to, to to make better products for customers and and provide more value, yeah. and there's there's limitless uh, opportunities out there with these kind of uh, new AIs that people have to hop on. People have to now that it's fresh. People have to learn how to use and manipulate these uh, AI systems. Yeah, don't don't be ignorant. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect, right, guys. I think uh, me personally, I I I think this is my favorite episode. Especially because yeah. we got such a yeah such a um, unique and deep insight of of, of your life yeah. and of someone who really knows uh, what he wants in life and uh, who actually has values for for the young age and it's not easy to find people around not many like that and uh, that you came around um, yeah and we had this awesome podcast which is very very long I think it's very good for your viewers yeah. as well no matter how long it is they like want more said, they <laughs> want they want to see the behind the scenes of this fantastic guy they want to see yes is he real is he a nice person yes like is he down to earth and I'm pretty yeah. sure they're gonna love this yes so guys if you if you got to this point just hit the like subscribe no, share it's doing our work and, and everything yes because <laughs> Those guys are hardworking. They're they're, they're on to something. Something I, I I appreciate. So make sure you do this because they they they're great. I I had a great time here. Yeah, uh, thank you. We as well. Great hosts. So everybody should know about you. Yes, and, and I really hope that. who knows? Maybe one day for episode two um, of us three would be awesome. Um, yeah, guys, don't forget to check out the episode will be available on all your audio apps like Spotify, yeah. Amazon Music, uh, iTunes, and of course on our second channel, Romaniac Live. You can see the video podcast. And yeah, we're going to see you in the next episode. That was us from the Romaniac Show. Mm-hmm. Signing out. La revedere. And ciao. Ciao.